All right, it's mail call time from True North. They did um, like a week ago or so. Um, they did mystery box drops and they did $50 boxes and $100 boxes and I did two $50 boxes. So, um, so we'll see, see what's in there. I'm excited. start off with a new hat so we got a new hat stuff out and pull it up. There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in here. Um, there's a there's a lot of stuff in here. For a hundred dollars. Um so they don't waste, right? So when they make a batch if there's, you know, an ounce of stuff left or two ounces or three ounces, they pour them into containers um, anyway. And then that's what they did here is that they did mystery boxes. So a lot of containers, but some of them are, you know, half ounce or an ounce, two ounces, three ounces. Some of them might be full. I'm really excited for a sneak peek of one of them, the outlaw. Um, because I really want to try this Sunday they're dropping um, Old Tradition which is kind of the outlaw plus um, all natural essential orange so it really Old Tradition really kind of makes it like an old-fashioned because the outlaw is bourbon wood uh, and amber and so um, so they drop old tradition this week and on Sunday and so that'll give me kind of ooh, and a uh, outlaw beard bomb as well we have some Soap samples, a stone milk, and a refresh. Um, I've been using their coffee one and their uh, Wicked Pine Tar Soap uh, pretty much every day. So. I love handwritten notes. Um, so, Lewis, looking forward to your feedback back on these awesome scents. Thank you for making hashtag North Crew awesome. True North. So, and they send a postcard and they do handwritten notes. And if you've seen any of the stuff that I do, I love handwritten notes. I think it says a lot for a small company to um, show their appreciation for people buying their stuff. And um, handwritten note um, for me and a lot of people that I know go a long way. So, so I went over the two Sam Sopals. I'll open them so you can see what it looks like for a Sam Sopal. Just a soap sample. All right. It's good, refreshing. And 
It's hard to tell. Almost like a refresh. Almost like a, like a mint. Can't tell. But some sample pieces of soap. Which this is just nice because like you know the only other way to try a scent is to buy it. Right? So you just don't know what um, if you're gonna like something without buying them. And I forget. I mean, their soaps aren't expensive. But then when you start getting into full balms or full full butters, you know, it's 23, 23.99 or a full oil, 19.99, and you don't end up liking it, that scent wasn't something that you wanted um, or what you thought it would be, then it makes it tough. All right, I don't even know where to start. Uh, well, we already did these two, so let's just go. So we got the outlaw in butter and balm and i have i have yet to get any of their balms so oh that's good this was literally just delivered um 10 minutes ago so all this stuff is going to be and it's 32 degrees outside so all this stuff's going to be, I would say, pretty frozen. So that's a, it's a two ounce tin. I'd say there's roughly about an ounce, give or take. Um, a balm in there. And then the outlaw butter. I'd say that's... Smells exactly the same. I, and I always say that be, sometimes you go from an oil to a balm or a balm to a butter, and the ratios of, of other things in there, you know, the oils and the waxes and the uh, butters that are in there sometimes can play on scent profiles. They sell, smell exactly, exactly the same. Um, but yeah, I'd say there's probably, it's right about here. I'd say it's, it's a give it roughly give or take a two ounce butter. Um, I'm just trying to see if there's stuff that's the same that I can go over. There's just so there's just so much stuff. All right, uh, this is another one that I wanted to try. Uh, this is Balm in Hotel California. And this one's full. This is a full two ounce Hotel California Balm. I, I, I didn't read the scent profile and I was just like, that's like a clean, like a clean cologne. And then the scent profile is clean masculine cologne. That's good. Yeah, it's just a clean cone smell. And here it is in butter as well. Hotel California. And it's right here. So again, like one and a half. Close to two ounce. Yeah, they smell exactly the same. It's good. It's, yeah, it's just a clean cologne scent. If you haven't tried their stuff, like all the reviews that I see, they are, I mean, they make a ph phenomenal stuff, right? But they are known for their cologne scents. Ooh, I haven't even smelt this one. This is this one is root beer float. I grew up in a candy and an ice cream store, so I'm kind of a candy and ice cream junkie. Um, and I like sweet scented stuff. So like the coffees and the caramels, um, butterscotches, things of that nature. I just I love. So this one is down here. So I'd say an ounce, maybe half an ounce. It smells exactly like, like the old school 
root beer barrel candies. So if you know what I'm talking about, I'm just it smells exactly like that. That's fucking, that's good. That's really good. So root beer float, exactly like like old school root beer barrel candies. Uh, I'll do this one because I have, so this is coffee, coffee beer. I have their coffee and caramel and it is phenomenal. So, yeah, let's see. This is here. So I'd say this is almost a, almost a three ounce. I'd say it's probably a three ounce butter. It, it smells exactly like coffee. Like when you make your coffee in the morning and that aroma hits you, that's exactly what this smells like. Mm, that's good too. Let's see. Let's go with. Let's go with. Let's just, we're staying this kind of sweet. We did coffee, you know, root beer float, or yeah, root beer float. We did coffee. This one is Texas pecan pie. And it's so much easier to see them once I open the lid. Uh, here, so I'd say an ounce, give or take, ounce, ounce and a half, maybe close to two. Oh, that's, that's good. Sugared pecans, buttery crust. I get both of those. Like, I can smell the pecans and that, like, fresh pie crust. Like, oh, wow, that's, that's good. I can't wait. It's going to be so hard to try all these out. I'm a creature of habit, so I, I like sticking with. Like right now, their favorite scent that I, I have three of their scents before this box. I have coffee and caramel, I have gratitude, and I have 24K. I like them all. But you can't like them all equally. And if I was to pick one out of the three, gratitude. It's not even, it's not even close. It's <laughs> gratitude. It's not even close. And that one's, that one's like chestnut, woods, caramel, and vanilla. And the two scents I pick up the most are the caramel and the chestnut and it is phenomenal um so much so that i'll probably pick up another set because it's they're gonna pour i think he said they're gonna do another batch um but it's a seasonal and once it's gone it's gone till next season and so um like i said i'm kind of a creature of habit i'm trying to find all the ones that are um, probably sweet scented. So let's, let's do these. Three. So this one is Sugar Daddy. And it is pistachio, salted caramel, tobacco. Yeah, so pistachio, salted caramel, and tobacco. And it's probably, um, yeah, it's probably half an ounce, maybe an ounce. It's a four ounce container, if I try and... Yeah, it's probably half an ounce to an ounce. It's good, I'm just trying to figure out what my nose smells kind of first. So like the other ones, this one doesn't jump out at me as like, like I can't pick out the pistachio from the salted caramel from the tobacco. 
I'd almost say I smell like a sweet, like a sweet tobacco, like a, and I don't know if that's like some of the pistachio or the caramel mixing in to give it. It's good though. This one's lighter scented to me. Almost like a cologne kind of, cologne -ish kind of scent. So sugar daddy. Um, we'll go from that one to Candyman. And I'd say this one's about a half an ounce. Yep. So it's way down here. And that was the thing, like, you know, you're getting, right, like, sample, samples of, which they don't sell, right? So, this is, it's just labeled as sweet, sharp, and dark. And I get that. I get a sweet, but it, it hits you. And then there is, like, a... I don't know how to describe that, like a dark, dark feeling to it. Again, it hits you like a more of a cologne scent. And I don't know if that's that, you know, that dark labeling of it. But again, it's nice. It's good. Um, and then this one is... Maine Scarecrow, crisp apple, marshmallow fluff, Maine Scarecrow. I'd say this one is at least two ounces, about halfway, at least two ounces. Ooh, I say jackpot because I haven't gotten, it's frozen. I haven't gotten, I can't get it out. Good Lord. Okay. I haven't gotten, I don't have it all over my hands. Um, I'm just gonna wait for my alarm for now. I haven't gotten a guitar pick from them. So, this one came with a guitar pick. I like it. Whenever I have extra or anything on my hands, I just rub it into my tattoos. So. I will do the scent. Oh, oh wow. I don't even know if I get like marshmallow fluff. I really don't know what marshmallow smell like, but I definitely get crisp apple and it smells wonderful. This is a great fall scent. Mm. But this one, yeah, like a two ounce. Their butter is just ridiculous. Like it just, it's super smooth and it just emulsifies, I would say almost instantly. So I have two of the limited edition PS Stay Bearded, which is Harvest Pumpkin Spice. And this one is a full four ounce butter. All right. And this one, maybe less than a half ounce, just, yeah. A couple uses worth in it. And this is good. And here's the crazy thing, right? I'm not a huge pumpkin guy. But it... It smells good. Like, it's not... It's not overpowering on pumpkin. Like, it's not... Cra like, it doesn't... I don't know. It's good, though. I like it. It's not overpowering. It's sweet, but like, yeah, it's sweet of the pumpkin, but there is a spice. 
there's a spiced note in there so so PS stay bearded harvest pumpkin spice uh, we'll do, we'll do these two so winter woods and you don't know they do from talking to Tara and Chris they do all their own artwork um, create their own labels um, yeah and it like right now they're doing two one two cents a month they're dropping a new scent every other Sunday so this Sunday is old tradition um, two, on the seventh or whatever two Sundays ago they, they did a drop um, and this Sunday could be a, another drop as well they might drop their Valentine scent it should be like a, I think a chocolate vanilla strawberry and cherry if I remember correctly um, so winter woods is forest pine and citrus so citrus and for, forest pine and citrus and this is Probably half an ounce, maybe an, an ounce. Oh, I don't even get the citrus. That smells like straight up like a like a pine tree. Like fresh. Like a fresh cut pine tree. I mean, there might be a little bit of citrus, like way at the end, as the pine kind of dissipates. That's another nice one too. Their scents are just crazy good. Cause I'm not a huge, like woodsy typically, but, and then this one is, and I'll probably butcher this name. Katadin. And it is fresh earthy moss. I see it. I mean, I get the fresh, in the fresh scent, like it's almost like a fresh cologne. Right? And then you do get a little, like, kind of earthy earthy tones yeah, another good one Dude, they do bangers man their, their scents are crazy good and they probably got more scents than than a lot of people then these are look like two ounce butters so three of those and I would say that one's full full uh, let's say that one's half full so maybe an ounce and and that one's full full so we'll start with this one this is stranger beards now this doesn't have this has a written label on there um so i won't know what the scent profile is stranger beards kind of sweet It's good. I don't know what it is, but it's it's got a, to me. It's got a sweet scent. You know, what? it almost was like bubble gum. I'll look it up later. I'll put it in the description. I'd say it smells like bubble gum, like Bazooka Joe. Like it's good. It's sweet. And then let's go with this one. This one is. Blue slush. Like I said, probably an ounce. This is a two ounce container, it says. That's halfway. I'm trying to clear my nose because kind of smelt like stranger beards. It's sweet, but it's way more subtle. It's sweet but subtle, but I can't. 
I can't get exactly what. I don't know. I'm just gonna go with like a subtle sweet scent. And then this one is Hippie Beard. I'm trying to see if it has. Any scent profile on there? I don't see any. So hippie beard. So hippie beard. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just by the sound of it. I'm gonna guess some kind of earthy. Eucalyptus? Maybe. Yeah, that or some peppermint. When you breathe, you get that. It's got to be some eucalyptus. got to be in there. You get that kind of cooling sensation, which either peppermint or eucalyptus both kind of have. Let's say it has eucalyptus in there. Hippie beard. And then we have three full oils. This one is Wolfpack. Black Label Collection. I'll be honest, I don't get much out of it. It's either super light scented or very neutral scented. But I have have sniffed a ton of this stuff. Um, this one says limited edition six pack. So I gotta guess it has kind of a hops. Kind of a hoppy type note. It smells like, yeah, it smells like beer. Yep. If, if you love the scent of, of beer, six pack. And then the last one is Mary Jane. So I'm going to guess a kind of earthy scent. Earthy, probably floral. It's, that's not strong. Yeah, I get a light, a light floral scent. Yep, like a light floral scent. 